guys have any questions about what kind a, of story you want to write, right? We've been going over what is a story plot arc for a while now, but have you ever decided, like, what, what could I do with that information? What kind of story arc could I make once I know what I want for the plot? Well, in this video, I'm going to be jumping into No Easy Way Story Plot Arc. Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit detailed because we're going to be jumping to six elements that make up this story arc. Uh, the first one right here, as you see, is going to be problem. Then we're going to jump into early success, and then we're going to have that setback, which is going to lead to the crisis. But then don't worry, because they're going to have recovery, and they're going to have a better place at the end of it. So for the uh, No Easy Way story plot arc, you're going to always start, as the graph shows here, really low. And then as it's low, you're going to go up to a certain height. You're not at the highest yet, right? And then you're going to just drop completely down, which will be the crisis part. And then once you hit the crisis, you're going to shoot back up because the character is going to be in a better place than when they first started the story. Problem is fairly easy. It is literally the problem of a story. So it's is a place where bad lurks in the shadows or where the character doesn't realize their full potential of who they are. For the example of problem, I chose something that a lot of people have already watched uh, for a movie wise, and that is Harry Potter. So for his problem is that, you know, he's living at the Dursley's house and for him, it's pretty much, he doesn't know he's a wizard. So he's living under the, under the stairs, having all these problems, but not realizing his full potential that you're a wizard, Harry. For early success, it is right where the character makes a decision and that's where their lives begin to change. Okay, so here I put the hero takes an opportunity and things start to change. So this is pretty much almost like an inciting incident where they're taking the opportunity to or a decision or event that something jump starts their story okay this is creative writing lessons this is where i give you tips and tricks to write, writing a successful story especially for beginners if you're loving this content don't forget to like and subscribe this video so i can keep pumping out these amazing videos all right let's continue the video the perfect example for Harry Potter is going to be when Harry Potter is given the opportunity to go to Hogwarts, right? When Hagrid shows up on his birthday and he pretty much tells him, you're a wizard, all right? And then he get, tells him, like, yeah, you can go to Hogwarts, you're a wizard. He doesn't believe it. He explains all these magical things that have been happening, unexplainable things. And then Harry right here, he takes the opportunity and he goes to Hogwarts. And that is the early success. So setback is pretty much where uh, the, either the main character realizes that they don't have that potential still or there's a hostile exter external uh, forces that come in there and give them a very, very, very hard time at achieving the goal that they want. Example again with uh, Harry Potter, uh, the first like conflict that begins this long journey up for him is that when he stands up for Ron against Draco Malfoy, he kind of makes Draco Malfoy uh, an enemy, and then throughout the whole first film, you know, Draco's just always constantly picking on him, and it continues throughout the rest of them. Uh, but throughout the rest of the series, that's when you get to see pretty much Harry has to deal with all these setbacks from the mentors, from uh, Slytherin House, I put here Death Eaters, and of course all these hard choices he has to make to pursue this goal of pretty much stopping Voldemort without realizing in the first book that he's the one that's going to be stopping Voldemort. Crisis part, uh, that is pretty much where the main character is going to hit almost like rock bottom, right? They're going to be in it, but they're going to just be like, oh, this, why did I even do this? Why did I start this journey? Why did I, I do this? Things would have been better if it wasn't for me. Things would be better if I wasn't even starting this journey or people might have lived or this and that, right? They make all these reasons for why they should never have even began their journey, right? And, and that is very important because usually the crisis has to be the rock bottom of the story where they see no light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for tuning into this whole video. This is the question of the video is, have you seen or read Harry Potter? I want to know in the comments below. Let me know if you've read it and if you think that this No Easy Way story arc um, suits Harry Potter and his style of story, his this storytelling if J.K. Rowling chose the right arc for Harry Potter. We're going to do Harry Potter the first one. Another example for this is our Harry Potter is just beaten and and you know he, he feels bad and what he thinks is like, well, if only I would have just stayed home. Uh, you know, if he would have stayed at with the Dursleys under the stairs, then his friends would be fine. He never would have taken this journey, right? As we continue through the seven books or the eight movies, you see that Harry Potter goes through a lot, a lot, and a lot of stuff 
where he loses friends, he loses family, uh, people around him are dying all the time, you know, he feels like there's nothing he can do, right? He hits rock bottom, but then it's kind of like, well, if he just would have stayed at the Jersey's under the stairs, then none of this would have happened. Nobody, Voldemort would never would have found him. He never would have been put on this journey to, like, stop him because he would have stayed on the stairs. All his friends never would have met him. He would never had all this loss. He never would have had any of it. And that's the crisis part. That's where he just hit rock bottom, where all this stuff is just like, man, if I just would have stayed at the jerseys under the stairs, didn't go with Hagrid, then everybody would be fine and alive, right? Which we all know Voldemort would have tried to come back regardless if Harry was there or not. So recovery is pretty much, remember I told you, crisis is they can't see that light at the end of the tunnel. Recovery is where they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it kind of helps them map out a plan to achieve the goal of whether the whole journey of all the books or all the movies or just in one singular book, they can see the light under the tunnel, give them the answers to how to solve their problem. And that's what recovery is. Harry Potter, you know, he's always saying he has to do it alone and all this other stuff, which makes it dark and gloomy and like he can't see anything. But then when he realizes that he is stronger with family and friends, that's where his power really lies in, is from his heart, like Dumbledore told him, then that's when he realizes, like, I can do this. You know, he relies on his friends to figure out how to either, in each book, get to the end of that journey, or in the entire film, entire book series, how to defeat Voldemort. And he realizes he needs his friends and families alongside him because it's pretty much right here, the power of love that helps him defeat him so a uh, better place is a little different than the recovery the recovery is just that foresight but the better places where they actually defeat and avert the danger and stop the evil as i put here they overcome that problem right danger is averted and this is where the potential is realized so when i go to the next slide with harry potter you'll understand more i'll break it down more so you understand what i mean by being defeated averted and how he realizes his full potential Okay, so like I was saying, for a better place, so Harry Potter finally realizes his full potential as a wizard, right? He, he understands that, like, there's sacrifices you have to make, like Dumbledore did. He realized that, okay, I understand I'm the only one that can defeat Voldemort. So he finally realizes this whole thing in the last book, you know, the last battle. He knows he has to stop it because it's on him, and he does. So that's why I have here. Harry Potter realizes his full potential. Powerful, he's a powerful wizard and finally defeats Voldemort, which if you guys read the book or even seen the movies, you see he finally is able to defeat Voldemort at the end uh, by using the Elder's Wand, uh, which kind of backfires on Voldemort, not realizing that Harry was the true owner of it, uh, which I know in the books, he brings the Elder Wand back to uh, um, Dumb Dumbledore in his grave and lays it with him, and in the movies he breaks it, so differences here and there, but uh, either way, the story... The no easy story plot arc is shown through Harry Potter where he realizes that uh, he starts off on this journey and he realizes his full potential and he defeats the biggest evil that is out there in the wizardly world, which is Lord Voldemort. Hello there. So I have two kids books out of my four kids book series self-published on Amazon. If you want to check them out, the link will be in the description below. Uh, and if you have Kindle Unlimited, you get these books for free. Thank you for staying tuned with me to the very end of this video. Uh, if you're really getting a lot of information from it, feel free uh, to. Uh, damn, I don't like that. Thank you for tuning in to the very end of this video. Uh, if you want to continue your learning process, you can check out my playlist right here. It is a What is a Story Plot Arc, and I will dive into all the elements that makes up a uh, story plot arc. Uh, if you want to learn more about developing a character, then click the video right there. Uh, this is pretty much showing you how to create a character that everybody could like and fall for. And don't forget, guys, right above me is that subscribe button. The only way I can continue providing these videos if you guys like and subscribe this video so I can keep pumping out this amazing, valuable information for everybody. I love you guys 3,000, and I'll see you guys in my next video.